All right, man, welcome to Thackerville. We were just talking Good about what do, you, what do you think? Uh, so far, so cool, man. Good casino, just uh, hit up a movie. It's pretty cool so far. Nice. Uh, is it nice to not have to leave the country? I mean, Dublin's pretty tight, right? But, but would you prefer to be here where it's a little bit easier to, to shorter flight and all that kind of stuff? You know what? It's it's kind of like I just take it as it comes. It's definitely uh, a lot easier to, to be here in, in Thackerville instead of flying, you know, nine hours to yeah. Dublin and everything. So it's a lot more convenient being here for sure. Talk about that experience, I guess, right out of the gate with a new promotion. You know, you're, you're on a big show over there. It's a, I'm, I'm sure a great experience with those kind of fans. Obviously, the decision didn't go your way, but but just kind of on the whole, what was it like to kind of get out of the shoot here in Bellator and kind of start this phase of your career? You know, I've been fighting my whole life, man. I've been pro since I was 19. I got 14 plus fights in the UFC and uh, Ultimate Fighter, all that. So, I mean, I have a, a ton of experience and, and coming over here to Bellator, being able to go to Dublin for the first time ever, main event. It was just an awesome experience, man. Another, uh, another great, great time and another great fight against a great fighter. Does, does, is there a part of it that's like, you know, you're, you're learning new people, you're learning new faces and or because you've had so much experience, that kind of stuff comes second nature to you? You know, it's both. I'm, uh, I get a chance to meet everybody here with Bellator, a lot of new people, and I'm getting new experiences. But at the end of the day, man, it's a fight. It's a fight to me. It's fight week. It's, it's media. It's the same thing I've been doing since I was 19. So, Obviously, opponent-wise, starting out here with Benson, I'm sure that that's the, exactly the kind of thing that you would ask for coming over here. Just give me, give me studs right out of the gate. Give me challenges. As a fighter, man, I, I'm, I want to fight the best guys in the world. I want to test myself. I'm, uh, I'm at a, a point in my career where you know, I, I want to fight great fighters and I want to get wins over great fighters. So having somebody like Benson to go against, that was something that, that I welcome. I welcome that opportunity and I welcome that challenge. Talk a little bit about um, what you thought when they called you and said, all right, here's where you're going to be. It's Brandon Gertz, co-main event. What goes through your head when, when they offered him to you? Uh, goes through my head is, is man, uh, another great, great opportunity to go out there and shine. You know, another, another fighter for me to go out there and, and test myself against him. I immediately thought, like, I'm going to come in shape, and I have a lot of skills to beat this guy. I have uh, skills, I'm sharp, and uh, what, a, what a great timing for a fight like this. Talk a little bit about what he brings to the table. Um... Are you a film guy? Do you go back and watch stuff? Do you leave that to coaches? What's uh, what's your? I leave a lot of the film to my coaches, but I'll I'll go over just for my mind's sake, just so I've seen it. I'll go watch their film a little bit. What did just you, one time? What did you see out of him, if anything, that um, you might need to, to kind of watch out for on Friday night? I feel like you know overall he's a, he's a wrestler that likes to throw bombs. That's you know that's what I got I seen on him. He he kind of fashioned himself a little bit, I think, as um, a little bit of a more of a fighter than, than a strict MMA guy. Uh, is there anybody that you've been in there with that you can kind of compare him to? Does uh, that make him unpredictable maybe come fight night? You know, looking back, I've, I've fought a lot of wrestlers that like to throw bobs at me, mm -hmm. you know, coming up. Uh, that's, that's how a lot of people try and fight me. So again, man, I come in well, well prepared and I, I come in just sharp, long. I, I have a, a array of tools. I can kick, I can punch, I can elbow, knees. You know, I got great takedowns on the black belt in jiu-jitsu. So, I mean, it's, it's what am I going to do? He's got to worry about what I, I have to do. So, what do you feel like um, a win against a guy like him? Who's he hasn't been as active lately, but he's been around here for quite a long time. Uh, where does that put you? And does that put you immediately right into that conversation of, all right, guys, now I need the next kind of level of, of competition to kind of start pushing me toward that title conversation. You know. Uh, We'll see how, how amped up I am after the fight, you know, and, and, and stuff like that. But we'll, uh, we'll leave that up to the, the Bellator and stuff like management. I'm not going to sit here and be like, you know, oh, I need this, I need that. Like, I'm, I'm focused on this guy. I'm focused on going out there, having a great performance, and that's it. Is it because you're, the, you're the, kind of the new kid on the block here, or would you be like that no matter what? I don't feel like I'm even the new kid on the block here. I feel like this is this is my home, and I feel like uh, each fight, man, I'm just I'm just getting stronger and stronger. So um, every fight I take seriously, and I, I come in super well prepared. I don't I don't leave that excuse up to be like, oh, I didn't I didn't I wasn't in shape, right? I could have done this, but I didn't train hard. Like, nah, man, I I uh, I come in every stone's unturned. I did everything I could possibly to come in great shape and come in prepared for this guy, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out there and leave it all out there. You've sort of been in there against kind of a little bit of a murderer's row really in your last you know several years. Have you thought at all about like 
what it will feel like to get your hand raised again because I know it's been a, you know 18 months or whatever since that's happened. I raise my hand every day after training, dude. Yeah. I, I feel it every day. Like I, uh, I'm a champion no matter what, and uh, that's it, the, the outcome of the fight's going to be what it is. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to leave it all out there, and uh, I'm, I'm a winner regardless. I feel like.